Veterans Day is November 11th. It celebrates the service of all U.S. military veterans. For this week in Toledo history, let's take a look back at WTOL's Chris Peterson telling the story of one of the greatest generation in 2000. For 50 years, I forgot I was a veteran. But these days, Liz Dunapace is trying hard to remember every detail of her service in World War II and write it down. In 1942, Liz was in her early 20s working as a nurse when she heard a calling from Uncle Sam. And I said to my friend, and they were saying the need for nurses, and I said to my friend, you know, we should join. Let's, let's just go. And so we um, turned in our resignation at the hospital and proceeded down to uh, Fort Hayes and went through all the preliminaries. She worked as a nurse in a hospital unit on the tiny Pacific island of Kwajalein. We were set up for 150, and I think my one paper says we treated about 7,000 battle casualties. Oh. Well, there were so many, so many, you know. And the sad part is we had to make the decision who to treat first. You know, if we saw that one boy really had a chance of making it, we tried to take care of him first. But with 18 nurses and them coming in by the plane poles, you know, you could only do so much. Liz worked 24 to 36 hour shifts under harsh conditions, never enough medical supplies, very little fresh food, and too few hands for the work. But you won't ever hear Liz complain. She was there to serve her country. So you bathed out of your helmet and um, checked your shoes and socks for scorpions and to this day I can't if I see a spider that big I'm going to run. For 50 years Liz locked those memories away and never talked about her service until now. I believe now that my interest in talking about World War II is to really make people more aware of what all women did during the war. Several times a month Liz recalls her war stories for school kids and groups like this one at the American Legion in Pemberville. She's determined to keep the memories of World War II alive and honor the men and women who fought so hard to keep America free. To this day I am still very proud to be an old veteran. I'm not ashamed to show tears at parades on hearing our national anthem or John Philip Sousa's Stars and Stripes. Old soldiers never die, they just fade away. Liz Dunapace's star faded in 2013, but her light continues to shine through the stories that she told of her service during World War II. For This Week in Toledo History, I'm Diane Woodring.